retina 2.11 frame structure so this is the frame structure followed in IEEE retina 2.11 so it consists of uh, three different classes of frames on the wire that is first one is data second one is control and the third one is management so each of these has a header with a variety of fields used within the max sublayer so normally we will uh, transmit the data only sometimes we need to transmit uh, three things one is data another one is control and the other one is management so those three classes of frames on the wire is defined by using the frame structure the that frame structure is looking like this so here um, if you observe this is the frame structure um, here we have uh, different fields are there one is frame control duration address one so that address one is for recipient and address two is for transmitter address three sequence data and check sequence so address one recipient means it is nothing but the receiver's address or the destination's address address two transmitter is nothing but the sender's address or the source address so each and every field is allocated with a specified bytes so each and every field is allocated with a space of uh, specified bytes so here the frame control again consists of means um, uh, frame control consisting of two bytes and this frame control again consisting of 11 different fields sub fields so normally the frame structure is this one frame control duration address 1 address 2 address 3 sequence data check sequence this is the actual 802.11 frame structure so the frame control is again consisting of 11 different fields and 11 different fields are assigned with uh, specified by bits each and totally two bytes are allocated for frame control so here uh, the 11 fields are version type subtype 2ds from ds more fragment retry power management more data protected and order so these are the 11 subfields which are existed in the main field called frame control so we'll see one by one what is this version what is this type so we'll see one by one so frame control is again consisting of 11 subfields those are version type subtype 2ds from ds more fragment retry power management more data protected and order so in this the first one is version so totally frame control is of 2 bytes so 2 bytes means 2 into 18 that is uh, 2 into 8 that is 16 bits so now that 16 bits is again uh, classified into 11 different fields in that 2 bits are allocated for version so what is this version so the type of version means which type of version of the particular protocol is used so for mentioning that version of the protocol we will allocate two bits of data so two bits of data is allocated for version and next one is type so type means it is uh, uh, specifying the type of frame whether either data control or management means what type of uh, frame it is means it is the frame of data or it is the frame of control or it is the frame of management so for representing that we will use two bits it means two bits is allocated for this type of frame so example one zero so like that either uh, means if we have two bits are there we have four possibilities are there either zero 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 one one zero or one one so in this four possibilities we will mention any of the case any of the cases used for this one so each case is represented for uh, representing the type of that uh, type of frame whether it is a data frame or it is a control frame or it is a management frame so to represent that this uh, subfield type two bits is allocated in the frame control next third one is subtype so subtype so subtype is the third field which is existed in the frame control so which consists of four bits 
four bits of subtype is there so what is the main purpose of this subtype to represent the rts or cts or acknowledgement so for representing this one mean uh, whether it is a rts means ready to send or whether it is a cts means clear to send or whether it is a acknowledgement so to define these three different types we will mention four bits of data that four bits is nothing but the subtype which is existed in the frame control next coming to the next field that is called as 2ds and from ds so here ds is nothing but distributed system distribution system so ds means distribution system so this uh, one bit for 2ds and one bit for from ds is allocated in the frame control so what is this 2ds and 1ds means from ds means it indicates whether the frame is going to or coming from the intercell distribution system means from intercell distribution system whether the frame is going to any other uh, device or it is taken from other device to this intercell distribution that will represented by using 2ds and from ds means going from or coming uh, go, going to or coming from that will be represented by two one bit of 2ds and one bit of from ds next coming to the more fragment so shortly we represent it as mf so that mf mf bit will represent the more fragments more fragments to follow means whatever the data is there additional addition to that data any other fragments are there that will be represented by one bit of more fragment and next one is retry so what is the case of retry so for retry again we are allocating with one bit so what it represents mean it represents a retransmission of a frame sent earlier means if required retransmission is required then to represent that retransmission of the frame this one bit is required so uh, sometimes we are uh, taking the chance of two second chance means in the first chance if there may be a chance of collision is occurred so if collisions will occur then we'll move to the second chance that is retransmission of the data so if retransmission of data is done then we will represent it by using this one bit that is retry and next coming to the power management so power management means it is a bit means it is one bit which is used to indicate that it is going into a sleep or low power state to the access point through a status bit in the frame header so this will represent the power current whether it is in sleep mode or whether the power is low or the power is high so re to represent that this power management bit is utilized and coming to the more bit so more bit indicates that the sender has additional frames for the receiver for example sometimes we are adding the redundant bits or sometimes we will add some more bits to the original data so in that particular case we will add the number of bits number of additional bits so for adding more number of bits to the receiver this more data is required so for specifying that we will add one bit which is allocated in the frame control and next coming to the protected so protected means we will protect our data means whenever the data is transmitted from one system to the another system obviously uh, we will protect the data from unauthorized sources so for protecting we will allocate one bit so that protected bit specifies that the frame body has been encrypted so for protecting the data we encrypt the data means whatever the data is there by applying the code we will convert it into cipher text and that cipher text is transmitted to the receiver and at the receiver side again he is uh, encoding it by decoding it by using some techniques and he will convert it into the plain text so that technique will be taken care uh, to protect our data so for protecting purpose one bit is allocated in the frame and the last one is order so this tells the receive that a sequence of frames with this bit are must be processed strictly in the order so uh, the data which is transmitted from one sender to the receiver 
whatever the data is transmitted that complete frames or complete data will be in a ordered manner only that means we will maintain the sequence numbers so in that particular sequence only the data is transmitted so for maintaining that order we will um, allocated one specific bit in the frame control so that will be represented with this order that means in our frame structure the first field is frame control so frame control we will allocate two bytes of memory so in that two bytes the frame control again consists of 11 subfields so those 11 subfields are version type subtype 2ds from ds more fragment retry power management more data protected and order so each and everything is allocated with some specific bits totally we have 16 bits that 16 bits is nothing but two bytes so that two bytes is allocated for frame control so this is the first field in our 802.11 frame structure so we'll see the next one so this is the original frame structure in that the first frame control is already discussed so the frame control consisting of two bytes so that two bytes is again classified into 11 subfields each and everything is specified with uh, specified by a number of bits so that one already completed now the next one is duration so we'll see what is duration what is address one what is address two address three sequence data check sequence so if you observe here so the frame control is allocated with two bytes and for duration for duration also it will be allocated with two bytes of data two bytes of memory and for address one address two and address three each will be allocated with six bytes of memory and for sequence numbers we will maintain two bytes of memory and for check sequence means uh, crc or checksum we will maintain four bytes so our data is in the range of 0 to 2312 bytes so this is the bytes which we allocated for each and every field of the ieee 802.11 frame structure so now see what is duration so duration means it will allocate two bytes of memory which tells how long the frame and its acknowledgement will occupy the channel and is how other stations manage the NAV mechanism. So whenever the data is transmitted from sender to receiver, we definitely set a timer because based on the timer, the sender will understand whether the data is correctly received to the receiver or sometimes due to some delay, due to some delay, the, the timer is up. So whenever the timer is out, again, it will retransmit the data. So for that purpose, it will maintain the duration field, which consists of two bytes. So this will represent how long the frame and its acknowledgement will occupy the channel. So by observing this one, mean how long, what is the time period, the frame and acknowledgement will occupy the channel. So once the channel is occupied with a particular frame and a particular acknowledgement of a specific device, then the other devices are in NAV mechanism will follow the NAV mechanism mean that uh, the other devices are kept calm for some time so they are in the waiting state whenever the timer is out then only the devices will again start its transmission so that's why we will maintain the duration uh, field which consists of two bytes and next thing that is called as address so three MAC addresses so MAC addresses means uh, medium access control addresses. So each and every device consisting of unique address. Here we are maintaining three MAC addresses, each of six bytes. That is address one, address two, and address three. So address one is used for source address. Means um, uh, means address one is used for re uh, recipient. That is called as receiver's address, or sometimes called as destination address and the second second bytes of address 2 is used for source address that means sender's address and the third address is for the destination base station and is used for intercell traffic 
so uh, destination of base station means access point sometimes we are using the access points means in, in infrastructure based network uh, we are maintaining the access points so that access point will transmit data from one source to the another source so that's why we require three different addresses one is source address another one is destination address and the third one is base stations address so each and every address is allocated with six bytes of data six bytes of memory and coming to the next one so that is called as sequence so sequence means it is an integer number which is assigned to each and every data packet or acknowledgement so it will allow fragments to be numbered of the 16 bits available 12 identify the frame and 4 identify the fragment so in uh, sequence numbers we have totally 2 bytes is allocated so 2 bytes means totally of 16 bits so in that 16 bits again it will be classified into two that is 12 bits and 4 bits so this 12 bits is assigned for mean 12 bits identify the frame and 4 bits identify the fragment so there can be at most 2 to the power of 4 that is equal to 16 fragments per frame so if you consider a particular frame definitely the frame consists of less than means at most means up to up to 16 fragment that means either zero fragment or one fragment or two fragment like it like that up to 16 fragments are allowed to a particular frame so this 16 bits are uh, identifying like this I mean 12 bits are allocated for frame and four bits are identifying the fragment and coming to the next one so that is data field so data field means it's the payload value means the data which is transmitted from sender to receiver so the sender the payload is nothing but the ip packet so that IT, ip packet is allocated with a variable uh, size that is 0 to 2312 bytes so this is the data size so in in that data limit means in that range the data will be transmitted from sender to the receiver And the last one is checksum. So checksum is allocated with a four bytes of data. So what is the main purpose of checksum? Whenever the data is transmitted from sender to receiver, if it is a noiseless channel, then automatically the data is received correctly. There is no problem for transmission. But whenever the channel is noisy, then due to that noisy channel, there may be a loss of data. Means there may be a possibility of errors will occur. So to detect that errors, we will maintain the checksum. Either use the checksum or CRC. Here in this IEEE format, we will maintain the checksum. So which consists of four bytes. Four bytes is allocated for checksum. So this is about 802.11 frame structure. So just recollect what are the things are there. So the frame format consists of these number of fields. One is frame control, duration, address one, address 2, address 3, sequence, data and check sequence. Check sequence is nothing but checksum. So again this frame control is consisting of 11 subfields. So this is about 802.11 frame structure.